Hello everyone, my name is Barad and I'm super excited to present GPT Synthesizer. GPT Synthesizer is a tool that generates any software you wish. You give it a task and a programming language you wish the task to be implemented in and it will generate the code for you. GPT Synthesizer iteratively interacts with the user to clarify any implementation details and keeps the user in the loop throughout the entire implementation. My goal for today is to go through an example and demonstrate what our tool can do. First, we're going to run the main file, and that should start up the tool. All right, and it's going to ask us for a task. Let's try to build a snake game. Build a snake game. And the programming language we want it in is Python. All right, the model has determined that um, these are the components that will go into the game. So we need a game logic, we need graphics, we need input handler, we need a scoreboard, and we need some collision detector. And maybe another component that we would wanna add is maybe the food. All right, and then it also asks us if we want any components to be removed. Mm. Oh, maybe we don't want. No, actually, every component is fine. So we'll just press enter. All right, so now it wants some clarification. It's asking some clarification questions for the first component, which is the game logic. Uh, what are the rules of the snake game? Um, the snake cannot hit the walls of the game. Are there any other rules or conditions that the snake needs to follow? Um, the snake cannot overlap its own body. Um, anything else? Nope. Mm, is there anything else I need to know about the game logic? Nope. All right, so now um, we can see that um, inside of the workspace, the game logic has now been implemented. So now let's go work on the other components. Uh, now that we want to implement the graphics. Um, render a 2D map for a snake to move around. Mm, you will need to display the game board, the snake, and the food. Can you provide more details about how you want these elements to be displayed? For example, should the game board look like, and how should the snake be represented visually? Um, the snake should look like a series of cubes appended together and the map and the game board should have a white 
background with orange walls. The food should be green cubes. Is there anything else? No. Alright, now the graphics has been generated, the Python code and a corresponding readme file. Um, now let's talk about the input handler. Um, the user should be able to control the snake by pressing the left arrow and right arrow keys. Uh, yes, that is good. Are there any other specifications? Nope. Is there anything else to clarify? No. <laughs> All right. Now the input handler has been implemented and now we're going to talk about the scoreboard. There should be a timer displayed and number of foods eaten. No, no requirements on how it should be formatted. A simple count. Anything else we would like to clarify? No. And now that is being implemented. Now the collision detector. Now if the snake collides with a wall or itself, the game should We can, okay, so to implement the collision detector, we need to check two types of collisions with the walls and with the snake's own body. We can do this by comparing the snake's position with the game board size and its own position. If a collision is detected, we can set a flag to indicate the game should end. Um, does this make sense? Yes.
All right, now the entire project is completed. Uh, so for every corresponding file that we generated, we have a, a readme associated with it. So we can see the readme for the scoreboard. Um, in this implementation, I have created a class called scoreboard, uh, which has a init method to initialize the timer and the foods eaten attributes. The update timer method updates the timer attribute with the correct time pass as input. Um, the display score method prints the current timer and number of foods eaten on the screen. And we can look at the code that was written. And it looks like it has the um, functions that it mentioned. I will also include the entire code that we generated today onto the GitHub. So feel free to take a look. Um, I appreciate you guys for your time and have a great day.